First things first, you'll need to select your head coach, bearing in mind that you'll also be utilizing the playbook and the style of play that he favors in the NFL. As we go along, be sure to keep an eye on your team's overall rating. Ideally, of course, it should be trending upward as the draft process. You'll likely want to attempt to draft excellent selection, just what this team needs to maybe get them over the hump. Oh, a tough decision on their hands now. And yeah, I don't think you needed a crystal ball to see that pick coming. That's all about loyalty and familiarity right there. So with a handful of starters already nailed down, you have to ask yourself, do you dare go for depth or do you just try to definitely some options with this pick? Do you take a skill player here or get yourself some help up front? We've seen Dallas represented once already. Could another Cowboy be joining the fold? Hmm, how about that threesome? How do you throw two of those guys away? Boy, it's finger crossing time now with the endings. Oh, I tell you, you're not going to get too far in this competition without a superstar or two. And this guy right here certainly fits that billing. One of those rare undrafted players that turned into superstars, Cameron Wake of the Dolphins is the choice here. So disruptive from the defensive end spot. Yeah, you get a guy like Jason Peters, you get yourself a very solid left tackle. At 6'4", 328 pounds, He's big enough to be a great run blocker, but he's also athletic enough to have his way. With These are the rounds you love to see. Some big names to choose from here. Always a tough decision, offense or defense. It's all about finding the right balance when you're putting a team together. Give kudos to the folks running this draft. They've targeted the guys they thought would provide the maximum value, and so far, it's been successful. After the draft's complete, check out the draft summary screen for a full review of what went right